Hey guys, good morning. It's crazy to even say that we now have just two weeks left in this Johnstown Fitness Challenge. Where in the world did 22 weeks go? I guess 20 weeks, soon to be 22. Is That's unbelievable. I uh, You blink your eye and we go from winter to summer and uh, here we are. I hope everybody's doing good. It is crunch time with your assignments as far as getting yourself ready to run. Uh, you're in store for a couple pretty difficult workouts this week. Um, I actually just got done shooting your Monday workout, and I felt so good about um, taking you through that and, and, and excited that I think that you're going to be able to do it, that I would like to see you also do the same workout again on Friday. So when you go into next week's workout, you're going to have Monday's workout is going to be the exact same as Friday's workout, and I'll be interested to hear back from you as to whether or not you can complete the entire thing. Um, there's some uh, pretty high repetitions. It's a challenge. I want to see if you can do it, so um, good luck with that. If Remember, if any of the workouts get too difficult, you can always pause the video and resume whenever you can. But I really want you to try to give me a good effort and do what you can on Monday and Wednesday and see if you can handle that level of intensity in your workout. Another thing is obviously Memorial Day is Monday, guys. Okay, so that could mean good things or it could mean bad things. And in past experience, um, it tends to lead to more worse things than good things. So be good this weekend. Um, there's nothing wrong and there's no reason why you can't enjoy a picnic with friends and family if that's what you plan on doing. And if that's the case, you know, have a hamburger, have a hot dog, you know, but be a little bit um, accountable and, and manage it the best that you can. And if you go over your calories by a couple hundred, go for a couple mile walk and burn them off. It's uh, time now where, you know, I really want to see those of you who are doing this, taking this seriously, you know, going to go to Somerset and walk or run in that 510K. I really want to see you guys in the best shape that you've been in since the start of the program. And to me, that means that you're going to be right around the lowest weight that you've been since the start of the program, and you're going to be in the best shape that you've been in since the start of the program. So these workouts are building themselves up to, you know, to see whether or not you're able to, to do some of these higher volume, higher intensity exercises. And then obviously the true test will be seeing you complete this Daily American 5 10k challenge so you know again be good this weekend i will leave you with this quote from one of the most uh, highly endured athletes in the world today his name's dean carnassus most of you probably don't know who he is but he's one of those ultra you know crazies that go out and run these crazy runs and you know 100 milers and uh, you know just these insane distances and uh, he also coaches people uh, kind of like I do to, to, to run and become healthier and to motivate kids to get up off the couch and do things. And uh, I read several of his books. And one of the things, one of his quotes is, um, whenever you're out there running your 5K, running your 10K, and you reach a point in that race where you just don't feel like you can go any further, you know, you, you, you look back and you think about everything that you've done to get yourself prepared for this moment. And this moment is your test. It's to see whether or not you can do it. And I know you guys can do it, but you've got to believe in yourselves that you're going to be able to cross that finish line and complete this goal. So whenever you're out there, okay, here's a simple, small quote that you'll get burning your brains, and I love it. Run if you can. Walk if you have to. Crawl if you must. When you're out there, that's what you're thinking about, okay? Run if you can. Walk if you have to, crawl if you must. I love it. When I'm out there, when I'm running a half marathon, full marathon, I think about those things all the time. I get flashbacks when, um, when, I'm, when I'm struggling and, and, and want to pull into the next medic tent and say, I'm done. Um, you know, you think back at all the hard work that you put in, all the, 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 the dedicated days of eating healthy and, and getting your workouts in and doing all those training runs. Um, it makes a big difference, and, and I get goosebumps sometimes when I'm running thinking about all that, and it just gets you through, and you finish. You put one foot in front of the other, and you finish the race. You run if you can, you walk if you have to, and you crawl if you must. Okay, guys, have a great weekend. Be healthy. I'll see you on Tuesday inside of your reports. I'll be away on Sunday, Monday, so I'll get back to you on Tuesday. Have a great holiday weekend. Bye-bye.